Friday and we're here. I'm Danielle from Pro World. I'm Gianna. And my yep. husband behind the camera. <laughs> so we're hoping everyone's doing well today. And uh, oh, the light is coming towards me. Sorry. Um, that you're doing well and you're, you know, making it through this quarantine with us. Uh, we have a little bit of um, a more crafty, I guess, uh, day today. So basically, we are taking heat transfer vinyl and heat pressing that on to paper. And we're using a bit thicker of a paper. It's the watercolor pa thank you, watercolor paper. Uh, so it does have a bit of a thickness to it. And then we're going to do a quick little marker sort of watercolor-ish technique on top. So this is a great technique for the greeting cards. Oh, you were just holding up that one. Greeting cards or putting something into a frame or, you know, just sending a thank you card uh, would be really nice. So we'll go ahead and show you how to do it. Um, are we, we're okay, right? Live person, okay. You know, make sure to, to check in with us. Tell us where you're from, how you're doing, uh, what things you've been doing during the quarantine. We would love to hear all of that. So please message away so that way we can interact. Hello, Sandy. You Hello, Wendy. Almost any marker? Yes. Well, except for, I think you have in here, like the dry erase markers. Don't do those. Do yeah. stick with like Crayola. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. We, um, we already cut this and weeded it so we'll press this one first and then we'll show you how to do uh the first one and, and we'll go back and start from the beginning for you all right so you're going to take your paper and place your design where you'd like it hello from michigan North Carolina, Kentucky. <laughs> All right, and we're just gonna, we're having on the uh, heat transfer vinyl setting, so we're at 310 for about 10 seconds. And once that timer counts down, we will color this one up for you. Two, one, beep. Now it's on here. So very hot. <laughs> it is a little hot when it comes out. All right, so you do see that there's a little bit of curl. If you want to flatten the curl, you can put it under, uh, back under the heat press this way, and then it'll kind of flatten it out a little bit. But it doesn't, for this purpose, we don't really need to flatten. All right, so what you're going to do is we are going to take some crayons, or crayons, not crayons. We're going to take markers. <laughs> and a plastic bag. Yes. All right. You're going to marker this one up? Yep. All right. Let's get a little closer to look, huh? Let's do some blue. Hello from Hawaii. And you just kind of line it up with the scribble. Put it wherever you want. Or recklessly scribble. Hello However. from PA. Hello from South Africa. As you can see, there's really no rhyme or reason to this. You just kind of, kind of go for it. You picked two pinks and two blues. Yeah, I did. Why? You want purple in there? This is kind of purpley. It's fine. It's a flamingo. I mean, what other colors do you want? It's pink, right? <laughs> okay. I don't think they know what they're doing. Oh my goodness! Did Daddy just say we that? We did this like three times last night. Yeah. Well, technically the night before. All right. Are you ready to spritz? Yep. Get up there too. Okay, I think that's good. You think it's good? What kind of paper are you using? This is watercolor paper. Not that one. This one. <laughs> <laughs> then why do you have mine over here? Because I'm trying to All confuse right. you. There you go. Watercolor paper. Cindy, can you see that? Okay. Go ahead. Squish it down. Plop. Squish, squish. Squish, squish. All right. Hold on. Let go. We're gonna flip and pull. Look how fun! And, and then now that... you will 
you'll be able to see the work of art of a flamingo that is more purple than pink. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and do another one for you. So the more water you add, the more kind of blendy it will be. The less water you add can make a fun confetti looking one. Yeah, and then I, I like a control freak with this sort of thing. Um, so I just like to kind of just mom blob out. I know, I know, but I just like to blob it out. But I'll try to do the same with this one. But you don't have to. So we'll put that one aside. Well, let's do another one so that way we can show everyone how to do it from the first step. So that one too or this one? we'll use this bag, but let's start weeding this one. You want me to? Yes, you can do that. I'm going to wipe off this bag so we can reuse. Where's the oh, weeding tools right here. If you guys missed any steps, they're going to go through it one more time. Yep. I'm this crooked. This a different one. Why am I crooked? Sorry, that's my finger. <laughs> oh, sorry, the thing got crooked. Oh, there we go, that's why. <laughs> there you go. So we're gonna do um another one of these oops. Another one of these paw print ones so you guys can see. So where can they find this paper at? I got it from an art craft like a craft store. Um Walmart even carries it. And the vinyl, oh, the, the vinyl's wet. Seems it. The vinyl that we used is, um, this one is the Black Matte from Caesar Easy Weed. But you can also do, um, I kind of like the matte version of the vinyl, just so you don't have that gloss finish. Uh, so any of those vi Easy Weed stretch vinyl will be matte. Um, the Caesar Easy Weed Black Matte, it would be black or matte. Um, but it, it does offer a really nice finish to it where it's not as shine. What kind of markers are you using? Just standard Crayola. There's crazy out here. I'll finish this. You show markers. Why is one of my highlighters in here? Because you have a mixture of everything in there. What do you mean? But it's yeah, really not... It's the bucket of markers, so my highlighters aren't... It's really not specific to what marker. Just any of them that are... Um, uh, water it's not waterproof what is what do you call it washable no, there you go highlighter. some that are washable markers yes um is it iron on vinyl yes this is heat transfer vinyl that we're using so it's gonna be um if you've ever done signed vinyl on paper that can work as well but I like that the heat transfer vinyl is a little bit more permanent on there. Like you can't peel it off, and it really kind of when you're when you're feeling this, it's just very lightly raised from the paper. And I think if you can if you can zoom in on this one, you can kind of see it. It gives like a little bit of an outline around the letters, which I think is quite nice. Mommy. And that wasn't you know the hold on for a second the the uh, markers didn't really touch that it just kind of float around the just the design yes would you be able to use a permanent marker no because permanent, permanent markers marker or watercolors that was a good question won't give um permanent markers won't kind of bubble up like the washable markers will the, if you if you are very talented with watercolors you don't need uh this fake watercolor technique. Um, so you can definitely do this without the use of, of the strawberry. markers. Who made a strawberry shortcake picture? Hi from Wisconsin and Detroit. I'm very good with watercolors. Of course, I was going to ask for it, so I was Okay, so let's do this one. So we finished weeding this. I threw it away. Or it's behind my desk. It's somewhere. All right, and we have our. Now we. Hey, from Georgia. Hope you guys are being safe down here in Georgia. The paper got a little wet on my back. That's okay. Now you guys opened up. I hope you guys are uh, still staying safe. All right, so you place this wherever you'd like it on your paper. That looks pretty good. And we'll go ahead and heat press it again. So three. I'm at 311 for 11 seconds. 
And then what color are we going to do for this one? So, here, I'll pick the colors this time. Okay, you pick the colors. Turn out purple. <gasps> she doesn't trust my color <laughs> selections. <laughs> Alright, yes. no, really like no good colors. Zoom in over here, please. Uh, Dina says, can you do the same thing with cardstock? Oh, yes. Cardstock might not, um, as long as it's a little bit thicker to kind of absorb. The reason I'm using watercolor paper is so that it absorbs the marker and doesn't just kind of sit on there or soak through the paper. So that's the benefit of using that thicker paper. But if you're not using like this marker technique, you can really use any paper, cardstock. The vinyl will stick to it. It will um, adhere to it just fine. Do you also use markers like these? Um, no, these are dry erase markers, I think. No, fabric. No, then no. No fabric markers. All right, so let's do our- No fabric markers. Our paw print. You got those colors? All right, Good job, paw you guys. Do it a little different. So she's doing it kind of like a rainbow. Very good. But yes. yes, I am. No fabric markers. No. All right, less. These we'll are not fabric markers, by the way. Do um, a little bit less water this time. So don't do too crazy with water. I don't know. Oh, she got, she got crazy there. Oh, this is dripping. All right, we're just gonna stick it right here, push down, and flip. Oh, that looks cool. And now you can actually see it, and it's staying the same way Mommy had it, except for the middle, it's getting a little. That's okay. That's all right. And then you can just kind of tap out that extra, and ta-da. Do you have Very to tap fun. out the extra if you want to? I would say tap it out so that way there's no like bubbles. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see our flamingo sort of dried. It's bendy. <laughs> it is bendy. But that's all right. Once it's all dry, you can put it under the heat press. Even like, the card is bendy. Like these other ones, once they're once they dried and they kind of flattened out. Are we going to be using this bag this time? Do you want to do another one? There's one right here, so. We can do another one. All right. As you can see, you can do a lot of them at one time. We'll put this one aside to kind of dry out. All right, we can use another bag. All right, any other questions? While we're getting this one set up? None so far. If you guys have questions, comment. what people are really wanting to do once this quarantine is over. Like, are you, you want to book a vacation? You want to lay low for a little bit? Are those called watercolor markers or are they just nope, regular just markers? Standard Crayola washable marker. I can't see that. Get closer because I can't. There's nothing special about the marker itself. Like you could even use these ones. I, I don't even know what brand. I don't even. I don't. It's Crayola, Daddy. Regular Crayola markers, I guess. I have a whole frozen box of them. All right, and as you can see, these are easy weed, super easy to weed. Uh, probably the best name that you can give a vinyl. What? What was the temperature that you did it on? Oh. I was at three. 10 for 10 seconds. 310 for 10 seconds. And we have, um, you're gonna follow the application instructions that we have listed on the website for the vinyl. So just cause you're printing on something other than fabric, you're still gonna follow those instructions um, for, for that vinyl. What are you doing? <laughs> Stuff is just dripping, so I'm trying to see where it's dripping uh, from. Just making sure you're not ready to, you know, pull your arms out there. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? None so far. Okay. You should have like watching, a watching me weed. Here. Jeopardy music playing while you're weeding there. <laughs> well, I was just weeding. Um, 
just talk about stuff. Yeah, talk about stuff. What do you want to talk about, Steph? Hey. 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 Uh, your shirt is falling off your shoulder. Thank I you. See that. Why don't you use the paper towel that we have? This is easier. Is it though? I don't think it's easier. I'm 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 closer to the water bottle than. Oh, you know what, yeah. moms? What are you doing for Mother's Day? Mother's Day is around the corner. My teachers have all different things planned. My technology teacher has things set up for us, and so does my teacher. She actually put it up today, and it has no due date. Oh yeah. Well, probably yeah. Sunday for Mother's Day, right? No, there's no due date. Oh, okay. But the technology one is due to tomorrow, so Daddy, please help me with the footprint thing. Mm -hmm. What are the cut settings? It really depends on your cutter. Um, I actually used my Cameo 4, which had preset cut settings on it, and that was at um, vinyl, uh, the heat transfer vinyl settings, but I believe it's speed eight, I could be wrong, um, speed eight, pressure six, but under the product details page, um, go to that vinyl and then scroll down and you'll see cut settings and it'll list all the different cutters that, that are out there on the market and the settings to use for each one. So uh, check that for the settings. All right, so we're gonna do just a text design, live your dream. We'll put that on this paper, and then you're going to start markering. Yeah. Where'd you put the the paper to? Oh, here's paper towels. You had them the whole time. All right, so step by yeah. step. Designs. Sorry. There's a little fuzzy underneath. Okay. And that looks about good. Okay. Vinyl's on there. Okay. It's crooked. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's, it's not fine. It bothers me. If anybody knows anything about Flipgrid, please help us. <laughs> Is that your assignment? Her assignment no. is a Flipgrid video or something. You have to make a something. video about appreciating it, about something you're doing for your mom. Like, you can do it based on anything. Like, like it said, time to use your TikTok and YouTube experience. Oh, all right. Which you do not have. No, she does not. I can't, I, I know the code to Flipgrid because it was on YouTube. So I tried that, but then it, but then I logged on with Google. I used my account because I didn't want you to know, notice anything on yours. So I went on my account. Being sneaky, right? And it Here, said we'll, we'll heat press this and flatten it out so that way you guys can. It said it could not work with um, well, Wellington NJ. We'll check Daddy it out later. Help you. Yeah, he's are, are you all done? You no. gotta marker it up more. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh, I didn't press that down. Okay. Oh, I didn't close this. Those are some crazy colors. Now, once you heat press the other side, will the vinyl start to peel off? No. It's on there. Okay. Sometimes it might turn out bad to you, but for kids, it's actually amazing art. All right, we'll yeah. keep coloring yeah, away there, kid. This is a bigger one, so you gotta. Fill that sheet more. Like this? That could do it. I don't think you're going fast enough you didn't catch on fire. <laughs> don't oh. do it like that. Really? This is this is gonna be a messy one. I can see it. Nana hey Nana's on says Juliana and Michael are watching too and they say hi. Oh hi. They, they, they can make this too, Nana. I think you just focus on like one color here. Are you gonna do other colors? Is it all purple? Right it's all like red. It's red and purple and pink and blue. Can you guys see it? I see red. Blue. That's not blue. This is blue. Oh, see that blue. Is, okay. This is regular HTV. Not a reality show. 
No, not HDTV. Oh. HTV. <laughs> All right, you actually gotta have markers that work. <laughs> okay, all of these work. It's just on a Ziploc bag. Oh my gosh, I ruined oh. my marker. You didn't ruin it. It's I fine. Did. All right, we're good now. I ruined my marker. All right, all right we'll spritz. 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 It. Oh, you're gonna take over the spritz. Yeah. All right, you go ahead. You spritz. Okay, that's okay. good. See, it keeps on dripping. That's okay. It's all right. Did you get the corners there? I don't know. No. Well, well, here. It's gonna drip. I like that. Okay. Flip and place and squish. Squish! And flip it over. And ta -da! Whoa! <laughs> I don't even know. Look at that mess we made. <laughs> it's got kind of like that mouth touch and then a little bit of USA. Yeah. Okay. And oh, I got stuff on me. Ew. It said, uh, what are we doing? All right, some people are chiming in late. We are doing heat transfer vinyl on paper and then kind of finishing it off with a little fake watercolor technique. So this is one that we did earlier, this video. A cute little paw print. And it dries pretty quick. Like, that one's already ready to go. And then this one is the very first one we made, like, a month ago? It was a while ago, yeah. A while ago. Uh, Becky, it's just water. They're just spraying water. And then if you want to zoom in here, see around this little curve piece, how that has that kind of break. It, it didn't go all the way to the vinyl, which is kind of what I like. I like how it doesn't um, kind of go right up to it. All right. And that's it. All there is to it. Anything Simple, about, easy. Daddy, anything about flippers? No. Uh, I think, you know, obviously these are going to be uh, hand-delivered to our moms. Yes. Don't look at them yet. Don't look at it, Nana. Well, Since she's on. <laughs> um, Watch it hot. But heat. definitely, like, you know, cards are really a good technique with this. A lot of people use their... They're silhouette cutters to cut out paper and cards, but this is just another option uh, to get, you know, vinyl onto paper, and then you can kind of decorate it however you'd like. So definitely, um, you know, take advantage of, of just, just a different way to use vinyl. Uh, question was, would this work on fabric? Yeah, uh, well, I don't know about the, the marker technique, but heat transfer vinyl, yes, it's definitely for fabric. So you would be just fine with this whole on technique. Fabric. Would this work on but fabric? This whole technique, I, I would say no because it's washable markers. So it, they would go away once you, once you wash it. So I don't think that would work. But you could probably do like a tie dye with the vinyl. So that would be another option um, as well. Yes. Would you be able to do this without vinyl? Well, yeah. If you have really great handwriting and wanted to color or create it without vinyl with like marker, then you can do, do you have to write it like on? permanent marker. No. Okay. Thank you. So can we <laughs> apply it on any kind of paper? Yes, you can apply the vinyl on any kind of paper. It will adhere, it will stick, and it will be just fine. And one more time, what kind of paper are you using? This is a watercolor paper. So this is just a thicker grade paper. It has a little bit of a tooth to it so that the, it, you know, cause it's designed for watercolor. But you definitely don't need to use this paper. I just like to use it for the thickness. Would you also be able to use paint pack? Yeah, because that has a, that's a thicker paper as well. All right, any other questions? Not as of the moment. <laughs> What are you guys doing for Mother's Day? What are we doing? Uh, staying home. <laughs> I don't have any other plans. Have a, probably good breakfast. A good breakfast, yeah. Yeah, you gonna you gonna make breakfast again? 
No, Daddy, we were doing something else. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Are we? <laughs> What's everybody else doing for Mother's Day? Let me know. Let me hear. I would love to kind of get an idea what you guys are all doing. So you do not recommend permanent marker? No, permanent marker no. won't give you the same um, kind of spread that this gives you with the water. And there's a... I don't think that you, uh, I don't think that there's any benefit. Like this is on there, so it doesn't necessarily need to be permanent. This, you know, once you get the the marker on here, it's not gonna go anywhere. Once it's on, it's on. <laughs> any um, questions, comments, concerns? Yeah, what, it's a highlighter. No, I stay away from highlighters because it'll be too light it'll be like the orange one that we did where it just didn't really show up at all you guys can try anything you want to use let us know how it yeah. turns out good point we would love to show ordering you crab legs from blue claw oh that is a that? good idea that what? was from you becky you're right down the road from us becky you said yeah Blue Claw is right down the road. And are there more than one? Uh, not that I know of, but who knows? What's Blue? Um, but Becky is in Jersey, so. Oh, okay. Uh, Becky, just you're log in our on. Neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. temp and time again? So at temp and time, we did uh, easy wheat. Caesar easy wheat. So we were at three ten for ten seconds. And peel it hot. She really is. Oh. She should stand outside. Blue Claw. I actually, we we went there. How many times did we go? Twice. Twice. Yeah. We went twice. We Very good food. Yes. Very good food. And I surprisingly was just talking about crab legs last night. <laughs> so that's a good idea. We were wondering if they were open. I guess they are. I guess she answered our question. Oh, she's at one location in Burlington. No, That's you it. You never went there. Yeah, I never went there. Mommy yeah. and Daddy have gone there. I never went there. Neither has Una. Well, actually, we did take a temperature one more there, time. And there was like a so temperature. There. Hold on, Jay. Uh, easy Caesar, easy. We were using, and we are at three ten for ten seconds, and we're at medium to heavy pressure. In eleven seconds. And our flamingo looks looks dry as well. It's got one little spot left that's not dry. Uh, Bessie, I'm not understanding what you're trying to say. Can you retake that one more time, please? Let me see. What size is that heat press? Oh, this is a 9 by 12 This is our TransPro mini heat press. And comes in handy. We've been doing pretty much all of our Facebook Live projects from home with this little guy and have, you know, printed a lot of stuff. So pretty handy, nice size, very portable. I believe it's only 35 pounds. Um, so, and I think it's at the moment on the website for 159. Um, I think Kate or Jess can probably throw that into the comments so that you can get a link for it. But yes, very handy little TransPro Mini. Is there anything, anybody else? Do you sell vinyl that can be printed on? We do sell printable vinyl. Um, the the kind that we have is there's there's the two kinds: the color print easy vinyl, and that's for an eco solvent or solvent printer. And we also sell uh, easy subly vinyl, and that's for your sublimation ink. So there's two options for printable vinyl, depending on what ink and printer you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're just mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's my agreer. Uh-huh. <laughs> Whatever mommy said. Uh-huh. I, I, don't, I don't know. No. <laughs> and again, the project that we just did. And her birthday. Instead of that. Whatever you're saying. I have no idea what you're saying. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of my birthday. Can you uh, move your book? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Hey. It, it, it is not a book. It's a coloring book. With apparently zero pages left. Jeez, Mom. It's like one page left in here. Okay. Thanks. 
All right. Well, if there's no more questions, we Talk will about anything, anything sign off for today. Are you able to get that? Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. getting it. I'm just had to adjust. Well, thank you all so very much for watching. And I hope all the mothers out there have a very happy Mother's Day. And we will see you here all next week. Yeah. Stay safe, everybody. All right, bye-bye. If you do live near our house, please just stand outside your door. I'll we'll try and see you. <laughs> uh, Kathy oh, said, I just ready. ordered the sublimation printer from you. Do you know when it, they will be in? Oh, I think the last update was May 18th that we're scheduled to get them in to ship them out. So very, very soon. We're really been patiently waiting for these sublimation printers. Okay. All right. Well, bye everybody. Have a great day. Happy Mother's Day. Yes, happy Mother's Day. I hope